Hello everyone, this is Grindelsch. Welcome to the first of what will hopefully be a couple on how to uh, use the N52TE with WoW. Uh, just so you know, it's me. Look, my gnome. There he is. Gnome with a dowsing rod. Found some moisture. All is good in the world. This is my profile over here. And, well, my profile. It's a profile. You're all welcome to use it. That's why I put it on the forums. I just happen to use it a lot, so, you know, my profile. It is for the people. Anyway, the point of this is it has been difficult to try and explain exactly how this actually gets used in the text formats on the forum. So hopefully this is the first step in showing you visually how this thing actually lays out and works. The core of it all is rearranging the buttons around a 3x3 grid with supporting buttons. Uh, and that takes care of the bulk of most use on the action bars. If an action bar has 12 buttons, then you getting 12 buttons on the N52 is important. So that gives us only 9 if we do a 3x3 grid, but we also have a fourth column over here of these buttons over here. So let's start off with the 3x3 grid, and then we'll move into the other bits this bit in the middle here where you've got three fingers that just naturally lay out onto them so they're very easy to hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That leaves you with zero on the thumb pad and minus and equals on the index for finger row column. That gives you your 12 main buttons for each action bar. Then we throw on shift Control and Alt in order to access extra action bars within WoW. So for instance, if I hit this one, left shift, and this one, one, which is pinky and ring finger, I get shift one, which within WoW I combine to action bar two, button one, ta-da, I now control four action bars just from this one mode. Now, a little secret on this one is that these two buttons, uh, B01 and B06, can actually be pressed simultaneously with your pinky finger, which allows you to create a virtual fifth row, unless you actually want to throw a fifth action bar on your screen, for uh, shift control and then any other button on here as well. Um, so for instance, I use that for my rate icons and I don't actually have an action bar on screen for that. Uh, I just have to memorize where the positions are. But for one action bar, that's not that big of a deal. So what else do we have mapped on here? We have the upper thumb button is mapped to escape. This is useful for closing out anything you don't want in game. Opening your mini map. Uh, if you've got your bags open, you hit this, close your bags. If you've got a dialog open, hit this, it closes the dialog. Uh, if you want to bring up your men menu, you don't have anything up, hit this, it brings up your menu. It's good for closing and opening anything closing everything, opening the menu. But it's great to have handy, because uh, Blizzard figured out early on, back with StarCraft, that people hit escape for things, you know, to, like, escape. So this closes out anything you don't want open. Also, untargets. So if you have something targeted you don't want to target, but you don't want to target something else, hit escape, it untargets it. All right. Um, let's see. The D-pad has our generic north, south, east, and west pad. Uh, Lines. It also has none pads 9 and 7. And you'll notice this is double repeated. Um, first of all, none pads. Uh, the none pad keys aren't used by WoW generically or normally. Uh, so these are safe buttons to have on the diagonals. I use them within WoW to bind to uh, turns left and right. And so you basically have a forward turn left, a forward turn right, and then repeat it on the back diagonals. So if you're trying to like. Um, back away from something. No, that doesn't work. Why do I have that? Well, it made sense when I did it. At any rate, it works. I never took back diagonals anyway. But uh, that gives you a full motion of control with the D-pad if you needed it. Move forward, move back, strafe left, strafe right, turn left, turn right, all in the D-pad. Anything else? I think that was all of the buttons. And you'll notice this was all done on the blue mode. At no time did my fingers leave the blue mode. So we have red map, uh, default, haven't touched it, green map, default, haven't touched it. Um, 
but for the most part, I haven't really found a use for the red or the green maps. Uh, I suppose someday I can figure out uh, extra mini modes or macros in N52, but I really don't like using external macros that much. Just a personal preference. Um, it has nothing to do with cheats, it's just a matter of I haven't really found any reason to do that. It's too easy doing everything this way. So, and I like the manual control. Now, you'll notice <coughs> in none of this uh, is there a button for jump? Is there a button for auto follow? Is there a button for auto run? Is there a button for. Um, yeah, those are the big important ones. Uh, and that's. Oh, and uh, speech tech. Uh, sorry. Voice chat. Uh, push to talk. Very important. Um, there's no buttons for that on this. And that's because they are over on instead. If I can pull this up. Ah, there we go. My mouse. Uh, I, in fact, use a Microsoft uh, optical thumbball, which is for MMO purposes, very friendly. Uh, you're steering, you're targeting, you're moving around on the map, you're really not doing a lot of frenetic movement even in the battlegrounds. Um, well, okay, you are, but uh, it's actually easier to do most of that movement with the thumbball than it is with a big mouse going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth instead of just going, look, look, I'm panning all the way across the map, wee, back and forth. Um, then again, I've been using it for years and, you know, I have burly thumb now, so your mileage may vary. The point of this, though, is that it is a five-button mouse. Uh, so if you can find a button, a, a mouse with at least um, oh, five buttons, preferably, uh, then you can get away with the following trick, um, which is uh, this has two outrider buttons. Let's see if I can get them highlighted. There we go, left and right. You know, way over here, right, see, orange. Okay. Um, you can't see it in here because the resolution's all jacked up. Yeah, that's as close as I can get. Uh, but what you have is... I have this bound to uh, numpad slash, and this one bound to numpad star, so that way they're never ever used in actual um, chat, whatever, uh, using the keypad, so I can't accidentally fire them. Um, for a while I actually had them set on control V and control, uh, what is it, cut and paste, which is control v, C and control V, right, something, whichever, anyway, uh, which had the uh, interesting habit of um, copying and texting things while I was in game and or uh, turning on and off the bars over people's heads which was kind of annoying when you, you know, go to jump and the bars show up so we don't do that anymore <coughs> um, anyway so those are the outrider buttons now the middle mouse button here I use for voice chat because you know it's right there under your hand you've always got a finger on it because you know it's, <coughs> it's right there under your hand and in that way, when I'm talking to people, I'm giving them the middle finger. Ha ha ha, so troll. Anyway, um, now, one of the things you'll notice, and this is a bonus feature that I discovered in this profile, is if I've got this button on shift and this button over here, I can map shift left mouse button 4, or mouse button 4, to a value in wow. I can also bound control mouse button 4, alt mouse button 4. So I actually get four values out of this one button in combo with the M52. Same thing applies to the outside right and the middle. So I now effectively have an extra 12 values that I can map on the mouse itself by having these shift control and alt available on the M52. Alright, um, so that's the hardware settings and the mapping settings, and a brief explanation of what the mapping settings are supposed to be doing. Um, next couple of these I'm going to be doing will cover things like uh, how this actually gets bound in WoW, how to actually use the mouse, the, the WoW bindings to set this stuff up, and then how to use like the action bars and bonkos um, using this layout, um, how that all integrates together. So. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Well, actually, I won't see you. You won't see me. But you'll see my gnome. Where's my gnome? There's the gnome. All right. Have a good evening. <laughs>